What's up, Lynn? Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Jasmine. Today is Friday, February 12th, and it is also Dress Down Day. So if you have on sweatpants, I hope you have your wristbands. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up next, we are going to check out Mrs. Su's Chinese students as they learn the ribbon dance, which was performed at Rutgers Chinese New Year celebration this past Wednesday. Students also created a Beijing upper mask in preparation for the celebration. Let's check it out. awesome job. So Kit Kat, don't forget this Sunday is Valentine's Day. Yes, that's right it is. So if you have that special someone, don't forget to get them flowers or candy. This week we sent out our crew to ask some of our staff members some do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day. Let's check it out. Alright, what are the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day? Okay, first of all I'd like to say that you have to genuinely care. Okay, and you have to show that to your spouse, your significant other. All right. And number two, another one is listen. Listen to what they're saying. So, for instance, already Valentine's Day is coming up next week, and my daughter, she has a, uh, she got a bracelet for a birthday. And already I know my wife wants that kind of bracelet. So guess what? I really didn't listen because I have to go and check out that bracelet again and find out exactly which one it was. So if I knew and I listened, I mean it's important in business too to listen. So that's, that's two do's. And then the other one is, do not procrastinate. Do not procrastinate on any kind of um, holiday or event. Think ahead of time and, and do the right thing. Thanks a lot. What are the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day? Uh, well, do's and don'ts. A do, always take care of your mother. That's, that should be your number one Valentine. Number two, uh, if you got a girl, always take care of her, you know, get her some chocolates, you know, maybe get her a little spa thing, you know, whatever you got to do. That's what you should do. The don'ts. Kush, help me out with a don't. Don't forget a car. Don't forget a car for your girl or your mother. Don't get engaged on Valentine's Day. Don't, don't hang out with this guy on Valentine's Day. <laughs> There's a lot of don'ts, but those are a few that you should uh, stand by. All right, what are the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day? Do's and don'ts for Valentine's Day. Uh, make sure you get your significant other a good gift. Be on time and have fun. What are the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day? I strongly suggest to anyone at Valentine's Day, if you are a male, make sure you give good candy. Never mind that Hershey's across the street. Go and get a box, heart-shaped candy. Be nice, give it to her, and always be nice to her. Make Valentine's Day every day. Never be cheap. Alright, good. Okay, Kat, do you have any do the dance? Not on the top of my head, I can't think of any. How about you? Nope, I'm not picky. Okay. I hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. That's it for today, but before we go, here are a few announcements. Please donate any extra change you might have. The money will be donated to children with leukemia. As a reminder to all students and staff, please have your IDs and lanyards on at all times. The Russian National Art Society is sponsoring a food and pet item drive for the local animal shelter. Please help out by donating the following items. Canned dog and cat food, toys, cat litter, laundry detergent, paper plates and paper towels, sheets and pillowcases, towels and blankets. Place your donation in the big orange box in the main lobby. 
Any sophomores or juniors interested in pursuing a career in science should definitely apply to the Hispanic Center of Excellence Summer Youth Scholars Program this summer. Please see Mrs. Gallagher in room 329 for details. On March 1st from 6 to 7 p.m., the Academy Building is having an open house for grades 8, 9, 10, and 11. Come check out our vocational programs such as graphic design, cosmetology, TV video, clothing, engineering, modern food, and ROTC. Thanks for watching. This has been TNT News with Jasmine and Caitlin. Have a great weekend, I just, and see you next week.